Hey, what up everyone? This is Mondo all day back with another video. In this video, I'll be doing my build guide for Magneto. I'll be going over the artifacts I use, Medallion and Signia, as well as the items for slots 1 through 5, the powers, talents, and traits, the hero synergies, and at the very end, show you my rotation and give you some tips and pointers as far as how I was able to pass Cosmic Trial with Magneto without using Infinity Points. So, let's get right into it. First thing we're going to look at are the artifacts. So the first artifacts is Book of the Monicas. I'm using this with for the plus three to all attributes. And I don't think I have a basic, do I? know. So the whole basic, you know, when you have the basic power, you gain 30 plus damage rating. It's a bit relevant because I don't have a basic power. But I'm mainly using this for the plus three to all attributes. Next is Black Tom's Shill... I can't pronounce this, but Black Tom's. I'm using this for the plus four energy. Energy damage rating increase, deflect rating, and health increase. Overall, this is a really good artifact for Magneto, especially for the plus four energy because his attributes are energy intelligence. So that's a really, really good artifact. And obviously, of course, for the energy damage rating and health increase. Next is Ultra Medallion. I'm using this for the 2.1 debris when you hit. Uh, you gain 2.1 debris or spirit when you hit. Uh, health increase, energy damage rating increase, critical hit rating to energy attacks, plus one energy, and deflect rating. So overall, this is a pretty decent um um, what do you call it? Medallion for Magneto. Next is Advanced Reserve Electrical Eng Generator. Uh, I'm using this for the plus 3 energy, uh, plus 50 debris or spirit, cost reduction for debris, which is really beneficial because these powers do consume a lot of spirit, and plus uh, 252 defense rating. And also, too, this artifact, um, when you critically hit, gain plus 3 debris on hit for 8 seconds. And it stacks up to three times, and when you reach three stacks, you gain critical damage rating for eight seconds, um, which is again pretty good. And when you drop below 25% of max debris, you gain 30 spirit recovery for 16 seconds. So this is a pretty good, actually it's overall really good artifact for Magnetos because he's definitely energy energy based, and also having the debris cost reduction is really really good too. For uh, well, the next artifact is Scroll Energy Rifle. I'm using this for the plus 2 energy, energy damage rating, and critical hit rating, but also to recover 3.7 debris when you hit with energy power. So this is really good, especially having the recovery debris because, as mentioned, his powers do consume a lot of spirit, so having that spirit re you know, regeneration per hit is really good. Also note too that for the medallion, a good one is Dr. Doom because of the duration. Uh, I say this because his signature power and um, ultimate power, having the duration increase, with that, um, with that medallion would be very beneficial too. So again, just let you guys know that Doctor Doom is another good one as well too for medallion. For the forge, 800 def defense and have a bless to where I gain 200 damage rating to range and energy powers. And when you hit with the range power, to cause your enemy to target to ignite, burning with 20,000 energy damage for uh, five seconds. So overall, this is pretty decent. Um, I, the most common one and probably the one I would be switching to is power of dupe. But this is what I have for the Cosmic Trial, so it's okay. For Legendary, I'm using Cosmic Control Rod. I'm using this for the energy damage rating increase, regenerate 500 health on enemy defeat, critical hit rating to energy attacks, gain 25 debris when you defeat an enemy, and plus 2 energy. For the Ring, I'm using Bloodstone Demon Band. I'm using this for the regenerate, regenerate 63 health when you defeat a demon, which is irrelevant. Uh, damage rating to range powers, brutal strike rating, plus one energy, move speed, and defense rating increase. For slots one through five, I'm using all his cosmic addicts except for slot four. Four is his, his uh, Magneto's unique, but everything on this is cosmic items. For the costume, I'm using Magneto Marvel now, black costume. Catalyst, um, I have it to where I increase my XP by 8%, health increase, damage rating to inc increase the damage rating to energy and mental. Well, mental is irrelevant, and plus through energy. Cosmic is after using a signature power, gain 1000 damage rating for four seconds, which is good. Crafted affixes, critical damage rating as always. Mutation bonus after being crowd controlled, gain 2000 maximum health for five seconds. And visuals is swirling clovers. For Insignia, I'm using Insignia of Iceman. When you're with an enemy, you have 5% chance to deal 2900 energy damage rating and slow, slow the enemy by 45%. And when you land a critical hit, you and your allies gain 184 range damage and critical patient. damage rating. But also, this ins uh, Insignia grants you damage rating to range powers and health. So this is pretty decent Insignia. It can use something else that's better. 
but for now I use this and it's okay. X-Wing Gold Flourish, I'll show you what it looks like. There you go. For the pet, I have it to where I increase my base health, move speed is increased, um, when you move, gain 4% area damage rating and 4% base of defense for 12 seconds, which is pretty good because when you move, again, keeps those stats, and plus 3 energy. For team up, I'm using Agent Coulson. Alright. For the powers I use, top to bottom, left to right. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look on top as well as um, look at my powers, which I use um, for a magnetic blitz, uh, electromagnetic field, uh, meat grinder, compressed sharp, sh was it compressed sh shrapnel, shrapnel? Can't even pronounce it. Uh, magnetic eruption, blunt instrument, storm of steel, which is a signature. And impel with iron. Infinity points, as stated, none were used at all. None were used, and I'm close to the 1,000. That's cool. Hero synergy, cable for the critical hit rating multiplier increase. Captain Marvel for the energy damage rating increase. Doctor Doom for the signature power damage increase. Hawkeye for the move speed and critical damage rating increase. Iron Man for the range power and energy damage power increase. Or damage increase, excuse me. Uh, Rogue for the health on hit, one spirit. Squirrel Girl for the damage to bosses increase. Star Lord for the critical rate multiplied to energy powers increase. Vision for the range power damage and machine damage increase. Wolverine for the brutal strike and brutal damage. Now for the talents and traits. For the first row is run through. If you have over 500 debris, trigger and impel with iron when you hit an enemy. So basically what this talent is, if I have over 500 debris, I automatically activate um, impel with iron. And it's really good because Impel with Iron does critical hit damage 100%, meaning he's always going to critical hit. And it does quite a bit of damage. So, just to show you guys in a bit right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. And I'm just going to activate my main spender. And just, I want you guys to see it. Okay. Now, I'm going to activate it, this talent. And then you're going to see that it's going to automatically activate Impel with Iron if I have more than 500 debris. So, here we go. There you go, right there. See that? It automatically did it. That's what that talent does. Second row is Super Compression. Impel with Iron's damage is increased by 25%. Impel with Iron critical hit chance is 100%, and the cost of it is 50% less. So overall, with this power, I mean, with this talent, Impel with Iron, which is one of my powers here, the damage is increased 25%. Critical hit chance is 100% now, so meaning it always critical hits. And the cost is reduced by 50%. So overall, this is really, really good. And also, too, this talent grants me compressed sh uh, shrapnel damage by increased by 25%. Critical hit chance 100%. And debris cost is 50%. So my main spender, which is compressed sh shrapnel, does um, the damage is increased by 25%. The critical hit chance is 100%, meaning it's always going to critically hit. And the debris cost is 50%. So that's two powers that get critical hit chance. So that's really, really good. That's why I chose this talent. Third row is Master of Metal. It's a passive. So what this does is it increases my max um, debris or spirit, however you want to call it, by 200. And debris generation, 4% of a max debris per second. So it generates debris or spirit, 4% of the max debris. So that's pretty good. Especially with the powers I use because a lot of his powers do consume a lot of debris so having this passive is really beneficial fourth row is god among insects storm of steel which is a signature the coolant is reduced by 15 seconds so that's really good because storm of steel does quite a bit of damage and you could again you do a lot of damage and having that um, the, the cooldown reduction of 15 seconds is really really good and for the fifth row and the last row is uh, polarity shift so what this does is polarity uh, Polarity surge applies positive polarity and magnetic eruption implies negative polarity. So what does this do? It's really simple. These are just buffs. And so if you use, I mean, I don't want to read it in detail, but in short, if you use a power that generates debris or spirit, um, the d damage is increased by 30% and for six seconds. If you use a power that consumes or spends debris or spirit, the damage to those powers 
um, increased by 30% for just six second duration. So the, in short, what this does is a buff and it grants you more damage to either your power to generate spirit or consume. And so with my particular build, I have a lot of powers to consume debris. So having the 30% extra damage is even beneficial. Especially to impel with iron and compress shrapnel because they do cost um, they do cost a spirit. So having a 30% increase with that critical hit chance is really, really good. All right, so let's get in down to the rotation. It's really simple. Magneto is really, really, really strong now. Um, so just to get this out the way, uh, compressed shrapnel, easy as my main spender, and this pretty good chance. That's always good. So the first thing I usually do is activate uh, blunt instrument. Uh, it this this generates debris and also too does quite a bit of damage. So first thing I do is activate that. So that way when I activate it, not, not only does it do a lot of damage, but also it lays around debris. So whenever I'm short or low on um, debris, I can just you know walk towards those area and you'll you know generate those debris. So I'll show you what it looks like. You see these right here, these purple things? If I go near it, it'll collect it. So let me switch something and it collected it. See that? That's the first thing I do is activate it. So that way I can start you know, having the breeze laying around. So the first one is blood instrument. Second is, well actually if that, and then after that, I use meat grinder. And I use meat grinder because meat grinder consumes a lot of debris, which 126, which consumes 126 spirit. But the good thing about this is that you can activate two and it's, it's damage over time. So I'll show you what it looks like. See that? And then you can activate two, so you can one next to it. So there you go. It just does quite a bit. It doesn't do a lot of damage per second, but again, these are damage over time. And it's a good thing because it does damage. And also, two, according to this talent right here, if you have more than 500 debris, Impel with Iron is automatically triggered. Hence why right now, Impel with Iron is being activated. And all you have to do is just activate Meat Grinder, and it automatically does that. And since these powers consume a lot of spirit, if you have activated Blood Instrument, walk towards it, look, and I'm regenerating my, my spirit. So again, just to reiterate, Blood Instrument, and then after that Meat Grinder, twice. And then from there, it's really up to me. I can either either use magnetic eruption or impel with iron. Um, impel oh, magnetic eruption. The good thing is that this does not consume any debris or generate, so that's really really good. And I'll show I'll show you what it looks like. So it does quite a bit of damage, but the good thing is that this part does not consume or generate um, debris. So it depends how you look at it. I see it's a good thing because if I have if I activate my main spender and my powers that consume debris, and if I am low on debris, the good thing is I have this, I can rely on this to do, continue to do damage without consuming any debris at all. So it's, again, it's pretty beneficial. And also too, the power of this, uh, the damage of this power is increased by 50% while you have less than 50% maximum debris. So for example, if I had a thousand spirits and um, if I had less than 500 and I activate magnetic eruption, the damage of this will increase by 50%. And since with my particular build, I use a lot of powers that consume spirit, so it's a kind of a, most likely I'm gonna be low on spirit. So, meaning that this power is gonna be increased, the damage of this power is gonna increase by 50%. So again, first thing is blunt instrument, and then after that, meat grinder twice. And then I can activate um, magnetic eruption, and then if I want to impel with iron, uh, main spender then yeah that's 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 that so again blown instrument it's a good power does quite a bit of damage but it's a good way to generate um generate debris and then magnetic eruption you know does consume or spin uh, doesn't consume or generate debris but it does quite a bit of damage and meat grinder activated twice and then obviously impel with iron, pick a target. And the reason why I say pick a target is because this does quite a bit of damage, but also too, it, it always critical hits. So that's really, really good. So I'll show you my rotation, very simple. Blend instrument, meet grinder twice, and then activate those powers. Magnetic eruption, impel with iron, and then main spender. 
and then again, blood instrument, meat grinder twice, just to continue with it. So it looks something like this. Blood instrument, meat grinder, one, two. Just like so. Very simple. And the key thing is always doing damage. And the good thing, look at that, is still, do <laughs> still doing damage. Okay, that's that. And then the next two is... Is... Uh, electromagnetic field. So, for me, I always use this whenever this is available. So what this does is it stops all nearby missiles and projectiles for 5 seconds, which is decent. The stun duration is 2.5 seconds. And apply protected to yourself and all nearby enemies. So this is a buff, and so when you activate this, your damage absorbed is 2100, 10% of your maximum health, which is not a whole lot for 3 seconds. But again, keep in mind that uh, this, is, this is a buff, and also too, Magneto is a bit weak, he's a bit fragile, so hence why I use this. So whenever the electromagnetic field is act available, activate it, so that way you get that protection, and you're protecting and you can kind of at least uh, have a better survivability. So that's how I use that. So... When now incorporating my rotation and signature, it's, it's the same thing. It's just activating your your signature. So I would say you use the first rotation, which was again blend instrument, meet granite twice, magnetic eruption, impel with iron, and then just activate a signature. But make sure that you have activated meat grinder at least twice, so that way when you activate signature, meat grinder is doing damage, and then also to your signature is doing damage. So you're kind of stacking your damages. So it looks something like this. So what I'll do is I'll activate Meat Grinder twice and then Signature. So you can kind of see what I mean by having Meat, uh, meat Grinder as Signature. Signature. Just like so. Okay, that's that. That's how you incorporate that. Now, another a tip I would do is uh, before you activate ultimate, I would say do your rotations, and then I would if you're gonna incorporate this. Now this is a rotation incorporating the ultimate. So my tip would be do your rotation, which pull an instrument, meet grinder twice, magnetic eruption, impel with iron, and instead of doing signature, I would do ultimate, and then do meet grinder twice. And then signature. Why? Because his ultimate it summons basically parts of Sentinels, and it does a lot of area damage. And then what you want to do after that, it lets you. I would activate Meat Grinder twice, and then signature. That way, your Meat Grinder can do damage. Your ultimate power is doing damage, and your signature is doing damage. And only at two, again, according to this uh, catalyst here, after using a signature power, you gain 1,000 damage rating for four seconds. So having that increase of damage rating is very, very good. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm kind of doing a lot of damage over time powers and just kind of stacking my damages. So I'll show you what I mean by that, including a rotation, my ultimate, and then signature. So here we go. So you got that. There's ultimate right there, meat grinder twice, signature. Just do rotation. And then so forth. And you get what I mean. Just like so. And then it's still doing damage. It's a cool thing. There we go. And that's really that's really it to be honest with you. That's my Bill Kai for Magneto. Pretty straightforward, really, really simple. Um, again, this is a pretty pretty decent build. Magneto really got a nice buff post uh, biggest update ever. I like him a lot. I can see why pe many people are using him as a main character because he is pretty fun. Um, before the biggest update ever, he was he did pretty good damage, but he was very very fragile to where you had to add items that increase your damage. I mean your damage, your defense. But if you did that, it means that your damage would be 
you know, you reduce your damage. So it's one of the things you had to sacrifice. But after biggest update ever, and the damage he's doing is it's he's he's pretty strong. I can definitely see him to be a a good contender for you know for end game for you know end game content. And yeah, that's it. This is my build guide for Magneto. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Any requests for certain characters, leave it in the comment section below. I know that someone requested Magneto a while back. I apologize for the delay. It's just, again, I do have a couple things lined up. So And I had other characters lined up. So at least at least the video is now out, uploaded and ready. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, again, any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If this video was helpful for you guys and you guys are enjoying this build or enjoying Magneto, again, leave it in the comment section below. I'm always interested to see if uh, how you guys like um, the build as well as Magneto and so forth. Um, if you want to keep up to date with my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because not only does it help the channel grow, but also means a lot to me as well. And yeah, that's it. This is my build guide for Magneto. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and until the next one, bye-bye.